there friends, it's Ashley here from The Loopy Lamb and TheLoopyLamb.com and today we're going to be checking out this Karen Big Donut from our friends at Yard Inspirations. I picked this up at my local Michaels store on the weekend and um, I wanted to share my yarn review of this yarn and kind of uh, tell you what's different about some of the other Karen Ogos that you might have already seen. So if you're ready to get started, hit that like button and please consider subscribing to my channel. So when the Yarnspirations Ogos came out, I had seen some videos and some chatter about the Karen Ogos and I'd seen that there was one that is a bulky weight size 5 weight yarn. So I had been keeping my eye out for that to hit the shelves here in Canada. And uh, a friend of mine had, had let me know that they had seen the Karen Ogo, so I ran out and picked one up. But I was surprised when I got there to find this Karen Big Donut, uh, because I wasn't expecting to be finding a worsted weight Karen um, Donut there. I was expecting that size 5. So um, here in Canada, we haven't seen the uh, bulky weight version of this yet. Uh, we just have the this one here, which is a size 4 worsted weight yarn. As with all of the other Ogos that we've seen so far, um, it is a self-striping yarn. This one has five different shades. And I'll take a look at the uh, label here. It uses a five millimeter or US eight needle or five millimeter uh, or H crochet hook. If you're uh, crocheting with that hook, you're going to get 13 single crochets and 14 rows in a four inch swatch. And if you're using the recommended needle size, you should get 17 stitches and 23 rows in a four inch swatch. Uh, this is 100% acrylic. And this is a 280 gram or 9.9 .9 ounce donut. And there are about 502 yards, which is five, sorry, 459 meters. It is machine washable and dryable. So um, if you've already caught my review of the Burnett Ogos, I wasn't crazy about the addition of all this packaging. Uh, at our house, we're trying really hard to eliminate packaging wherever we can. And I just feel like all of this extra cardboard is unnecessary. Um, but I can see why they did it. it. It does draw your eye in the shelf and it does help them to stack up better um, in the retail environment. So what I'll do is I'll open this up. We'll take a look at the yarn and then uh, we'll do a swatch with it. Goodness, it's really glued on there. All right, here we go. So just like with the other Ogo yarns, it comes out in this crescent shape. They call it a donut, but to me, honestly, it looks like a, a big uh, croissant. Um, <laughs> uh, you can tell where my preference in pastries lie. So um, just like with the other Ogos, there is a piece of plastic that you would snap, cut, or pull out in order to get started. And mine here appears to be caught on the yarn. So I'm going to cut it and hopefully it doesn't create a snag in my yarn. Now here in Canada, this is retailing for $13.99, um, which I found to be a bit pricey for an acrylic yarn. I understand that they're doing this to compensate for the uh, cost of changing over the machinery to get to this formatting, uh, but $13.99 for an acrylic ball of yarn, worsted weight, um, does seem to be a bit much uh, for me anyways. With the other Ogos, you're going to pull from your right and you just keep pulling and you shouldn't have any tangles, right? That's great. Uh, but you, it, I'm not quite sure if this one has more of one color and less of the others. It does appear that way visually, but as we work it up, we'll find out. So uh, I know that I'm personally a tighter crocheter, so I'm going to work with a uh, five and a half or a six here, because that's my personal preference. Now, when I saw this on the shelves, my main question was, what's the difference between this yarn and say Karen One Pound? Because I'm not a huge fan of Karen One Pound. Uh, I do find that to be a little scratchy and too harsh for my tastes. Um, I'd rather pay a little bit more for something that's 
um, softer on, on the hand and easier to work with. Um, this yarn at first does feel very soft and um, I don't know of any Karen one pound yarn that is self-striping like this. Um, but my first initial impressions were like, wow, this is uh, more akin to the yarn that you get from a Karen uh, cake than you would say a Karen one pound. So we'll just do a couple of stitches here. We'll work up a swatch. I'll share some pictures of swatches that I'll do with this after the video on the written tutorial or goodness, the written review that will be on the blog. So that way you can see um, all the swatches that I do end up doing with this. So um, right off the bat, I'm not noticing any splitting. It's very soft. Like I, I said, I'm thinking that this is kind of um, essentially the new Karen cake, but in a donut format. And, you know, as I'm thinking about it, that does make more sense than them, than my earlier um, link to the Karen one pound. Yeah, you can see that it's, it's working up relatively easily. It's, I'm not sure about, there might be some pelling with this. I, I've had um, some issues with the Karen Cakes pilling in the past, um, but we'll have to wash this up and see how it works. That is for another day until I decide uh, what I'm going to do with this. But yeah, you can just see that working it up is not too, too tricky, or it's not tricky at all, I should say. Uh, it's totally fine. But it's not like a yarn that's super wowing me or anything. I did like the, this color palette. Uh, I do tend to be drawn to browns with neutral shades. So this was the uh, easy pick for me. But uh, the Michaels didn't really have a ton of color options in this. I think there was only three to choose from, honestly. And I went to two different Michaels stores to see if there was a different selection and both only had three different colors. But yeah, unfortunately I was a little disappointed because it wasn't the bulky weight because I was hoping for something uh, new and different. But this just honestly just feels like a Karen, uh, regular Karen cake put into this new format. So what I'll do is I'm going to uh, pause the video here so I can do a full size swatch and I'll come back to you and show you uh, what I've got and what it looks like. And we'll talk about any issues or any um, notes that come up while I'm working with the yarn. All right. So here is the swatch I just quickly did uh, with the Karen big donut and I used a five and a half millimeter hook. Now what I did is I did just a few rows of single crochet, then a couple of half double, then some double crochet, and then I did some thicket stitch up here. Um, that's like my go-to mindless stitch for texture. Um, I really, really enjoy that one. So uh, stitch definition is nice. Again, there was no issues with splitting. Um, it, there was a little bit of drag in the yarn. Um, it wasn't very slippery. So if you're concerned about, um, it being one of those yarns that just slides off your hook and you're dropping your, your loops all the time, um, this probably isn't going to be an issue for that. Uh, but yeah, overall it was enjoyable. It wasn't like, wow, I need to go out and buy a whole bunch of this, especially given, um, the, the price tag on it. Uh, but it does come in some pretty colors and, uh, like I said, it was enjoyable to work with. So I'd love to hear if you've tried this yarn before and if you have uh, made something with it and what you did make with it. There is uh, a decent amount of yardage uh, with over 500 yards. So you could uh, make maybe like a hat and a set of mitts, but I'd love to hear what it was that you've made uh, with yours. And maybe you'll give me an idea on what I can do with my uh, Karen Big Donut. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm happy to hear from you and help you in any way that I can. Thanks so much for watching friends. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.